Yo, what up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to another Soul Hunters episode. We have a huge episode today because if you haven't uh, heard or you've been under a rock, they just updated the game today, so there's a lot, a lot of things to do, and it's Sunday, so extra things on top of that. Where should we begin here? Oh my god, alright, so let's check out the mailbox. The maintenance is complete. Alright, so we get some gems there. Pretty nice. Events, diamond spender, you get some experience here, okay. Let's claim our daily and some gold. Alright guys, Hall of Legend is open today. This one is the, was it, Vincent? Yep. We'll uh, have to attack him later on, alright? So for now, we're just gonna go, and we're gonna go right to it. This is why I'm making the episode, this is what we've all been waiting for. The legendaries have been finally released. And as you can see, if you check out Vincent there, you see the glowing uh, little... His question mark is glowing. That means he's ready to be awakened. Him, Arachna, there she is, and Mortis. These are the three heroes that are ready to be awakened. The only question is, I'm not sure who I want to go with first. But... I'm leaning towards Arachna, guys. I don't know why I'm leaning towards her. I like her ultimate. She hasn't been really useful up to now, but I'm thinking uh, with her awakening skill, it's going to boost her um, damage over time abilities by almost 100% after your opponent is under 50 uh, HP, all right? So, I'm not sure. I'm really leaning towards her, though. Yeah, uh, all right. I'm gonna go with it, guys. I'm gonna go with Arachna. All right. I'm gonna do them all, but for now, I'm gonna go with Arachna and get her Silk Veil. Boom! There he is. Awakening Quest number one. Arachna has been accepted. So, what we have to do now is we have to craft this equipment that she needs. All right. The only way to craft it is so check it out. You go to her veil, craft it. She so she needs one. Of these which I have sage wand she needs helmet of darkness I have that and I have this torch of destruction the only thing that you know I'm gonna have to get is this one silk strand so you go on to that and then it'll tell you where you can get it so it's on chapter 14 over here but only in the elite stages so there it is it's popped up there now now what you want to do is you want to sweep this um, chapter so I got one there Alright, so I got one out of that. For 20 more, you can get it again. So I'm going to have to do it a couple of times here. There's two of them. There's three. And what's 50 now? I'm doing it one more time here. Oh, I need more experience, huh? So stamina is going to go by quick for this, guys. There's four. Alright, I don't know if I want to spend more. But let me just see. How many do I need, first of all? I need 80. Wow. And I only got four so far. Let me just try one more here. There's another one that's five. Six. All right, 100. No way. So I guess it's looking like I'm about to get 60 per day. Times 10, 12, 70. 13 so yeah in about a couple of weeks so it's gonna take a couple of weeks for me to craft that item so i'll i'll keep you guys posted as i go through it but that's it right there the silk veil and these are what it's gonna get magic attack plus 200 max health plus a thousand physical armor and magic armor so you no know, some nice things that she's gonna get and that's about it guys there she goes she's about to be awakened my first awakening hero is underway then next up is going to be either mortis or it's going to be vincent i'm not really sure but we'll have to see you know when we get there and also let me guys uh show you guys what i've been working on here i got gus to orange all right so he's our orange i'm just upgrading his ability slowly here i need two more items for him and he should be all right let me finish off these uh ability points really quick Okay, perfect. Ability points is done now. Let's move on to the next part. Oh, I haven't collected my dailies here. Let's collect, collect, 
Correct. Finish that, finish that, finish that. Alright, so next up now, I'm gonna do some... My rating that I need to do for the heroes that I don't have at 7 stars. And Mortis is one of them. I was slowly working on Mortis, but now that he's about to be awakened, I gotta work on him a little bit faster here. Even though this is gonna take a couple of weeks. And then, there's also two other parts to the awakening, alright? I'll let you guys know when we get there, but... There's more parts to it. And then I'm probably gonna... I'm probably gonna separate the awakening skills when I uh, finish it all off. I'll make one video showing you guys exactly step by step how to do it. But for now, this is just normal gameplay that I normally do on a Sunday. Alright, so we're gonna sweep this some more. Next up is Arachna. Alright, so let's work on Arachna here. So you guys let me know what you guys are going to do first. I'm not sure if everybody's going to go with Arachna first. I might be the only one probably because I know she really sucks right now in the game. She's not really useful. But I'm hoping that this ability will make her a little bit more useful in some areas. I'll just have to see. But this is why we test things out. Alright, that one is done. Let me see who else I'm working on right here. Okay, uh, Hanzo, yes. Alana, yes. Alright, so let's do Alana real quick. Alright, so a couple of other things that were released from this update. There's a new um, Hall of Legend hero. I'm not sure when he'll be out you know, for us to fight. But as soon as he's out, I'll let you guys, I'll show you the gameplay for him. But that is pretty awesome. So there's another day that you can do Hall of Legend, which is nice because the rewards are pretty good for there. And also, they did release a new hero. He's in the Conjuring Stone. I do have a spotlight for him coming up shortly after this episode. Because I couldn't fit him in here. It's just too much for one. It'll be too long. And, you know... Sometimes it doesn't upload if it's too long. So I, I always have to kind of keep it short, you know. The, that's why I kind of keep them within 20 or 30 minutes because some of these episodes don't load I have to retry a couple of times before it loads so that's why it kind of sucks that's why I have to separate them but but here I go wasting a lot of stamina here wasting a lot of stamina that's the thing with the you know awakening skills is we're gonna waste a lot of stamina and gems too because you're gonna have to reset a couple of times for sure to you know to get more you don't have to reset you know you can just instead of doing it in two weeks you can do it in three weeks it doesn't really matter it's up to you guys but I'm very impatient I want it now all right so that's about it for the the only problem now it doesn't give me much room Diamond Spender. Alright, so we got the first part of Diamond Spender. So we're at 5. Usually I typically just like to spend 6. That's it. No more. For uh... And there he is. The, the new guy in the Conjuring Stone. Let me show you guys right here. There he is. Midline DPS Havoc. So his name is Havoc. And you'll see the spotlight for him coming up very shortly. Alright. What's this again? Nothing. Just blinking red lights. There was a little uh, problem with the treasure cave here. As you guys can see, if you go in the mine, my, it says my heroes are mining, but they're not there. They just disappeared. So don't worry about that. They're fixing on it. You know, they're on it. They, you know, showed us, um, they wrote a message saying that, oh, we're working on that to fix it. So that should be fixed shortly. So let me keep going on here with these bountiful caverns here. Make some money and some experience I'm gonna need this experience for havoc anyway so it's gonna come in handy pretty soon let's check out the trader really quick here oh buy all the gold items 
Like this for sure. And some more experience. And ancient. Alright. Now, I'm going to do some arena fighting now real quick. Because I've been dropped. I did get dropped by Glover here a while. So let me try to see how far I can move up here. 12 looks like the most a-hole. What's this guy first? Alright, I'm just going to go with this guy here. I'm not sure if this is the team that I want to use though, but why not? Let me just go with this team here. It's kind of similar. The only difference is I'm using Gale and Jasmine. And that's kind of loud. Let me turn this down a little bit here. Oh no, Jasmine is dead. She did not live to fight another day. She died really quickly here. And this one is not looking too good. Once Leon gets his uh, armor up, it's kind of dangerous. Because most of my attacks are physical, so they're not going to be doing much damage here. And he got his Riley up too. Ah, Jesus. There goes Gale. This one is not looking too well, guys. It's not looking great, I tell you. Even though... It's 3 on 1 now. Alright, maybe we can uh, do this somehow. Hey, I did it. Alright, so that's a win right there. Great. We got the win on this one, so we moved up to 16. Let's check out the Epic Arena and see what we're going to do here. We're at 21. Uh, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 7. Alright, let's go for 6. I'm going to try to go for 6 here, but I got to work on, switch up these teams a little bit here because I'm not sure if this is going to do good. I like my second team here. The third team, all right, I'm going to keep it there. But second team, I mean, the first team I have to change a little bit here because he's got a lot of AoE damage. What I want to do is take him out and probably maybe like this um, or maybe, nope, maybe like this. All right, let's do this, guys. Let's give this team a shot and see how this one does. Okay, this first AOE team is going to be tough here. They're going to hit the back line pretty hard, I think. Yeah, looks like Slim did not have even a chance to get off an attack. Come on, Arachnus. No, this is not Arachnus. This is uh, Arcturus. So Arcturus is going to help out with his uh, freeze here a little bit while Gizmo does a ton of damage. Alright, we're going to need something here. Nope, not at all. Alright, so that was a bad counter to this team. Maybe I should have just went with my own AoE team, but... I have my AoE team right here in the second battle. So let's see how this one does. Ooh, okay. Once I get rid of that... Um, Elric, that's when I'll be fine. But until I get rid of him, it's going to be a problem. Because he's coming in with a lot of freaking power here with Seraphine and uh, Alistar there. Oh no, this is going to be bad. Gosh darn it. Come on, Riley. Riley's been stunned for like 10 seconds now. Alright, so Gale got her ultimate off. Riley's doing some damage there. All right, we got a Jasmine stun here. They still got a lot of heroes there. Oh, my God. So, it's not going to be good here. It looks like we're going to lose this for sure. Yeah, this one is no good. All right, so it looks like I'm going to have to switch it up these lineups really quickly here. Because they're not panning out too good. So, I think, alright, so that was, where I'm from here, it's 3 in the afternoon, and uh, that's when we get our daily rewards, it's 3pm, so I guess 16 and 21, it's fine, it kind of sucks because it's in the afternoon, and usually during the week, I don't have time to fight and defend, you know, the arena, but, what can you do, we'll have to settle for that. Let me do the Midas here real quick. 
All right, so I gotta fight together. Oh, I gotta do the dojo. How can I forget that? So everything is open. Perfect. Sunday. Let's try to work on some things that I need here. Destruction. It's always the same stuff. Destruction sword. Or this. I'm just gonna go with destruction sword as always because that's the one that really matters the most I think it is more useful than a lot of other items here but okay the extreme I think I might have to do this one with the sage wand even though I have two sage wands it's those things are so useful I mean I feel like every hero, well, every magic hero needs those. It's kind of the same thing with the destruction sword. Every physical hero uses that, and every magic hero uses that. All right, so here we have these, or these. I have three of those, so I'm just going to go with this one. Because this natural remedy is another item that's very useful. All right, now for the last one, it's going to be... The bloody arena. Bloody hell! I have one. Alright, let's go with this. Ooh, getting sore here. Ah, Alright. So, dojo is finished. Let's check it out. Arena, some... Alright, so I'm gonna check out the goblin pedal here because I don't think that I've... Oh, no, I don't want to buy that. Goblin Parallel. Uh, anything good here for me? No. How about the Black Market? I'll take that. These, no. Yeah, nothing good from the shops here today. Let's check out the guild shops. Still, I'm working on Blood Spear here. Oh, wait, I might have to do mercenary camp while I'm here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that and put you back. Put slim, maybe? Put in gizmo, why not? And I guess Riley. I'm not sure who people want to use, but we're going to use those. So I gotta do another arena. Let's do some enchanting. I gotta enchant Gus little by little here. Because everybody else is already enchanted. Whoa, there's the item. What? No! <laughs> you see that, guys? You don't want to do that. That's the item for um, Arachna there. And I almost used it to enchant. Huh. That's bad. Alright, so now. Check out the epic arena. The shops, they released, what's her name? Oh, Garrick. Garrick. So they released Garrick there. And that's probably who I'm going to go with next. Because my Riley is very close to 7 stars. So once I'm done with Riley, it'll be Garrick. Let me check the shop here. Boy, I have a lot of stuff here. And the new hero, Ar Arcturus, was released in this legendary shop. So you can go with him. This is one that's kind of tricky. Gizmo, my Gizmo is 6 stars, Crusher is slowly working, Arcturus slowly, so I'm just going to keep going with Crusher for a while, and then maybe Arcturus slowly. But now that they released a new uh, Hollow Legend, there might be more, yeah, there's more coins, yeah, so this should be good. Anyways, let's do some legendary fighting with, hmm, so I think this is the team that I was using for uh, my last Hollow Legend here, so... Let me try to do some other things here. Hmm, who should I use? Alright, let's go with this team, guys. Let's go with this team just to try it out. Now be sure you got to get your timing right for this. What we're waiting for here is... 
once he uses his next ultimate here, boom. I'm going to use these two. But once this little... Alright, go with this fast. Now I have to use my heal. I don't even know how they're holding on here. Another Blood Spear. Use these two. Oh my god. Come on, Gizmo, one more. Heal, heal. Alright, so 754. That's good enough for 13th. Who did good? Garak did good. But my tank, I don't think, was the best tank there. So let's check out what I'm going to have to do for top di damage. And oh. 900,000. Boy, I was pretty close. Maybe if I take him out. And I can put in a... Uh, let me think here. It's either going to be Leon or maybe I can use Vincent. Yes. Maybe I can go with Vincent and Slim. Alright guys, let's try this out here. I'm hoping that Vincent's, you know, um, defense against magic attacks will help out a little bit longer here. Give me some more, you know, some more time for my back heroes. The only trick here is... It's kind of a little trick, but if you notice, um, Vincent's double slash will hit the front row and mid row heroes. It will not hit your back row heroes, so keep that in mind, all right? You see Slim, Gizmo are not getting hit, but Garik is getting hit. All right, so we're going to wait for this, and Garik is dead. God darn damn it. The reason why Garik is dead is because of that double slash, like I was saying, all right, so we got the heal off here, but Vincent could not survive much longer here. And Slim neither. No, go. All right, so not good, not good at all here. All right, guys, let's see what we're gonna have to do now. Obviously, Gizmo kills it. I'm going to try not to use a mid... I'm going to try to using only back row heroes. Maybe this? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Never mind. Drago. Alright. So, let me try this out here. And if Drago doesn't work, then I'm going to go with Leon next. But I kind of want to try this out here. And let's just see how it works. I'm hoping that Baltor will uh, have enough time to use his ultimate a couple of times. So here comes those bats again. And Draco is holding up pretty well in the front there. Not bad. Boom. So he's at 200,000. I'm going to use this fast. And now I'm going to use these two. Okay, okay. Don't do it to me, Drago. Alright, I'm going to use my heal now. Because all the little blood uh, things are gone. Oh, come on. Now his power, I mean his attacks become very powerful. And here's the problem. My tank is done. Oh no. Alright, not good. <laughs> so not good at all with this one. My flora is a problem as well because she's not upgraded. So I'm certainly going to be working on her. Let me just use this flora here. Take him out, put Leon in, take him out. I still want to use Garik. I think Garik does some good work here. Blood Spirit did good as well. Who's going to be my other hero though? That's the question. It's either going to be... 
Maybe, maybe this. All right. Let's try this out, guys. Let's give this team a shot here. I like Garak for his damage, but he's getting hit in the mid line there, which I don't really like. See, he keeps getting hit there. He does have lifesteal, though, which helps out a lot. I'm going to use Garak here, even though I don't think his ultimate does anything. See, he has lifesteal. He heals very quickly right back up. And here I'm going to wait for those. Yep, I'm going to wait for this attack. Now I'm going to go with these three. Okay. Oh my god, he died so fast. Alright, so Leon didn't do justice at all. Seems like Torsen did, I mean, uh, Fallen did a lot better than all these other guys. Yeah, the strange thing is, is my first team, I think, did better than all these other ones. But I'm going to go with Musashi now. Let's just go with straight up attack. Musashi. Maybe I'll have to hire another Flora here. Let's see. I have two here. I have six star, six star, same type of thing. Doesn't matter. Let's go with this one. And last one is going to be, this is the tough one here. It's either going to be Slim, maybe Alistar still, but Alistar didn't do that great last time. No, no. All right, let's just, ah, I'm going to go with Slim here. Alright guys, I think this is my final attempt, so let's see if I can do any better than 13th here. Unlucky number 13th, even though I know Musashi's defenses are not the greatest. That's 15,000 damage right there. I'm going to hold off on some ultimates here for as long as I can. Ah, Musashi, don't do it. Musashi is getting pulverized. Oh no, I misclicked. I used his ultimate when I didn't. Oh, that was a big mistake, guys. I misclicked on that when I shouldn't have, but that's what happens. Trigger fingers too quick. And I prematurely clicked it. So this is a big epic fail. Well, that was it for the Vincent. Didn't do too great at all. But 13th, uh, I guess I'll have to live with it. I'm not too mad at that. It's a work in progress. Let's just let's just leave it at that. Let's get this free one here. And what else do I got to do here for today? What else? Some raids and that, some arena and that. Hang on one second here. I just wanted to check something out. Raxius I can get. Riley is about 30 away. Okay, so let's do one more arena fight, guys. One more. And then uh, let's attack this guy. Should I keep the same team here? This team is doing pretty well, so let's try it out. It hasn't lost in a while. Let's see how it does now. The difference with this team is that he's got Dokras instead of Jasmine. Let's see if it makes a big difference here. Alright, I need some ultimates here. Come on, Gale. Alright, Jasmine came in clutch. Come on, Leon. You had to do it there. You didn't. You All right, all right, so we're all right still, we're okay. Got my Riley up. 
It's looking good. Everybody's still alive. And all he's pretty much got left is Ariel. So it looks like a win, guys. Bang, another win. All right. Sweet. So this team got us all the way up to fourth. Fourth. Not bad at all. What's what's number one running? All right, same type of team with dual tanks. All right, guys. So I'm going to end it off here. All right. Be on the lookout for that spotlight on Havoc coming up today, later on. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on Soul Hunters. We'll be working on the legendary skill still. And when the new Hall of Legend comes out, we'll definitely, um, you know, I'll have that for you. All right. So, till next time, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Be good, guys.